Controversy continues to stalk Kenya International Hospital over the brain surgery mix-up last week. The hospital being the center of demonstrations this morning as protesters demanded answers on the fate of a patient who was scheduled for the brain surgery with rumors having spread that he had died. The demonstrators said to be University of Nairobi students from the Kabeta campus, calling on the government to take much more punitive steps to punish those behind the mix-up. That was preceded by yet another demonstration in form of a ghost law, staged by over 700 registrars who were demanding the reinstatement of their colleagues who had been suspended due to the unfortunate exercise. The Kenya Medical Doctors and Practitioners Union would follow suit demanding the reinstatement of the neurosurgeon who has also been suspended. KMPDU Chairman Samuel Oroko terming the suspension as a victimization ploy. And there's a procedure in medical practice that for you to come up with a report on medical negligence, you have to do medical audits, which has not been done for action to be taken. Oroko has called for the overhaul of the systems in Kenyatta National Hospital, blaming it for the mix-up. Is Kenyatta National Hospital system functional? The reality is it is not functional. Sucking the CEO doesn't solve the problem. Sucking the doctors doesn't solve any problem. KMPDU has since announced the withdrawal of services by postgraduate students, commonly known as registrars, at the facility following the suspension of their colleague as well as the ongoing grandstanding between the government and university lecturers over an unfulfilled MOU.